Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through how to solve the scene pick and place XYZ. The scene is supposed to work so that it will spawn boxes on this conveyor that will load them until it gets to the sensor. And from the roller conveyor below it will spawn pallets that will load until it reach the other sensor. Then the arm will pick the boxes and put them on the pallets. It will pick three boxes on each pallet. Let's open up TIA Portal and see how I solved this scene. I made a function block for the arm that picks the boxes. Let's open it up and see how I programmed it. I made a sequence consisting of 25 steps to make this work. In the first rung of code, I made so that the sequence will get in queue once the pallet gets to its position and will get resetted when the sequence is done. This will make it easier to control the rolling conveyor for the pallets. In step 0, I made a tag that will activate the sequence. It will activate when the box at play sensor gets occupied and will reset itself when the sequence is done. Then it moves on to the next step. At step 1, the arm will move to the item's position. To do so we move the value needed into the SP tags. And then to make sure it gets at the correct position, we compare its value somewhere in between the value we given it. When the part is at its place, we move on to the next step. At step 2, we move the arm down until it detect the item, and then move on to the next step. At step 3, the arm will grab the item, then wait one second before moving on to the next step. At step 4, the arm will move up again, and once it reached its position it move on to the next step. At step 5, the arm will move to the pallet's position, and once it reached its position it move on to the next step. At step 6, the arm will move down with the item, and once it reached its position it move on to the next step. At step 7, the item will be released on the pallet. Then we move the arm up, and once it reached its position it move on to the next step. And that is the last step for the first part of the sequence. From step 8 to step 14, it will start the sequence for the next box. It works just the same as previous steps, it's exact same programming just one small difference. At step 12, when the arm should move to pallet position, we have to set another value to the arm. From step 15 to step 22, it will also work the same, except from step 19, 20, and 23. At step 19, we will move to this pallet position. And at step 20, we will set the C plus until C limit have been passed. At step 23, the only difference here is that we release the C plus again. Then we move it to a waiting position to start the sequence over again. And at step 24, which is the last step, we will move the value 0 to the step tag and pulse out a signal to let the sequence know it is done. In my main block, I added the code for the conveyors. The box conveyor will run for as long as there is no queue in the sequence. And the part conveyor will always run until the part at play sensor gets occupied. And the exit conveyor, I have just set to run at all time. This is all the programming we need for this scene. Let's run the scene while monitoring it from TI Portal.
Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.